Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Lisa and in this video we're going to be having a closer look at how I've completed this commission piece of this dog. For the nose, I'm going to be showing you in real time how it was completed and I'll put a list of the paper and pencils that I've used to complete this in the description below. So remember to like and subscribe for more tutorials to come in the future and let's get started drawing the dog. So to begin with for a piece like this I always start with the eye. I usually go in with either like a nougat or a dark sepia very lightly and get the outline of the eye that we want including the pupil. Then I go in with the white pencil or the Holbein soft white and put in the bright highlight just to make sure that no colour gets in there and it stays nice and white. And then I go in with a dark sepia and darken up the outside outline of the eye. And then go in with the warm grey one in small circular motions to get a nice smooth base to work on. Then I started to add in the colours which was the Naples yellow, burnt ochre, burnt sienna. Also adding in to the highlight a little bit of sky blue and then go in with the walnut brown and start to darken up the sections of the eye. After I'm pretty happy with the eye then I'll start to add some of the fur around the eye and start to get the structure of the head and the skull. So one of the main things you need to remember is just to go in the direction that the fur is going and make sure that you're doing really short fur lines where there's meant to be short fur lines. So for this fur on this dog he's got really sort of short fur so I needed to make sure that my pencil strokes were really short to depict that. So to complete the fur on this dog I've used a base of the ivory and then gone over really lightly with the Naples yellow burnt ochre also worked in some green gold and then for the shadow areas I've gone in with some burnt sienna and also a little bit of burnt ochre harder pressure so that it makes it a little bit darker and I've also added in a lot of the light flesh which um, is a sort of like a pinky tone which adds like a more of a peachy color to the piece and you can see as well in the ear there's a lot of pink color in there so I've gone in to use that and then also added in the light red violet into the shadows including some sky blue to get that blue color and then working in the darker colors like the Kappa Morton Violet, Walnut Brown and Dark Sepia and also a little bit of the Nougat and Olive Green Yellowish. So because this dog was sitting on some grass in the reference photo, there is a lot of green that you can see in the face and in the fur, but because I'm not drawing any grass in this piece, I really wanted to stay away from adding too many greens because I thought it might look odd. Instead, for the shadows, I sort of added in some light red violet and Caput Mortem Violet to get darker tones and to depict the shadows. So you can see on this guy underneath his chin and under the mouth there are a lot of sort of wrinkles so make sure to pay attention to your reference photo in the way that the fur is going and also the length of the fur so you can start to make them go in the right way and also the right length that you need as well. Now we can go through and start to add the fur to match the muzzle up with the nose and make it all come together. So remembering on the muzzle that the furs are really short so we need to depict that with our pencils and also we need to make sure we're going in the right direction. So on the left hand side we need to go down to the diagonal on the left. So now he's really starting to come together so now we can start to add in the folds and start to get darker in the shadows. Alright so now I'm sort of up to the mouth section. I thought I'd just explain the process. Um, and what my plan is. So pretty much I'm just gonna break it down into little sections so you can see here there's like four little teeth, um, there's some gums and then more gums and then here is like gum section but there's little white sections where um, there's sort of saliva and things like that. So I'm just gonna break it down into little sections and do like little bit by little bit. So if I just went in with like a warm grey one or the ivory and just shaded over the whole thing, it just gets a little bit confusing and you sort of lose your spot. So I'll go over and do like little section by little section and there's lots of pinks and browns, um, is it burnt sienna, um, 
cinnamon and yeah lots of and then in the teeth there's like a little bit of yellow and um, pinky ivory tones um, so I'll do all of this section first and then maybe this little bit and then move on to the tongue and then all I need to do is this leg the chain and the belt and then we can go over and fix everything so all up here needs to be darker as well but once I start to put in the teeth, then I can um, reassess how dark everything here needs to be. Yeah, so it will take a long time, but yeah, just breaking it down into little sections um, makes it a little bit easier to see where you are and where everything goes. So when building this kind of texture, I used a warm grey one and the ivory as a base, and then went in with the beige red and sky blue to build in sort of the blue and pink tones and then I went in with the brown tones which was the burnt sienna and walnut brown and also some like bistar and raw umber in the gums and then when you break it down into little sections and just start to color each area one at a time it all starts to come together in the end so you can see now I've moved on to the belt because I sort of complete a little bit of the gums and then want a bit of a change to move on to sort of a different texture and then to see the light and darkness that I need for the gums I also needed to put in the belt because that's also one of the darkest parts of the piece so for the tones to match in the mouth and the collar I needed to sort of have them in at the same time. I also wanted to make the final part that I work on the tongue so that I can see how dark it needs to be as well. So this took a lot of layers, I just did a lot of light layers on the tongue and then went in with the white Holbein pencil and shaded down to make a nice smooth surface and then go over with more colour and then where there's sort of saliva or white sections on the tongue I would go in a little bit harder with the Holbein soft white and put in some white streaks. When I put the tape down for this one I accidentally put it on a bit of an angle so then I had to take the tape up and then go in and put the bottom of the leg and a bit of the collar back in. I then do what I do every time which is leave it overnight or for a couple of days and then come back to it and then you can see now I'm just adding in some more color, more tone and add in some more shading into the darker areas. So this is at the end where you can sort of assess where everything needs to be fixed and what you can add to make it a bit better. So this is the final result and I really hope that this video has been helpful and you've been able to learn something from it. Has anyone completed an animal or a dog like this with their mouth open because it is so tricky. I hope that you like this video and if you do remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Keep drawing guys. Bye.